Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna and I'm so glad that you're here. This is a four part love reading, a love reading with clarifiers. It is your best course of action based on the reading. It is helps and hindrances uh, in the relationship that you should be aware of and what they like best about you. Let's jump into the reading and clarify. All right, so why do we have the Seven of Pentacles here? Your overall energy is the Seven of Pentacles. It is Taurus energy, and it is all about building your future. So both of you are highly invested here. Both of you are nurturing the garden of love. Okay, it is clarified by the Queen of Pentacles, one of the best possible relationship cards in the deck. It is nurturing the infancy of the relationship. It's being kind, it's being loving, it's being reliable. It's a Capricorn queen, somebody who definitely takes responsibility serious. And both of you take this relationship very seriously. Beautiful energy for you. So let's see why we have the chariot card. Honey, I'm home. That is your mutual energy in the recent past, Cancerian energy. Five of Wands, so it really speaks to the fact that both of you have a lot going on. You are very busy people. The Five of Wands also speaks to the fact that you are you have a lot of competition. The relationship has a lot of uh, factors about it that creates a time that's difficult for you to get together or a situation in which there are a lot of competing priorities. Now, let's see what we see for the current mutual energy is the strength card that is leo energy it speaks to your courage your fierceness your knowledge of yourselves as individuals it is a very important card in any love reading because of the infinity symbol here in the the number eight with the strength card major arcana for leo and we see this energy that you know both of you are feeling left in the cold fives are conflict fives are difficult and look at this energy. You have five, we have five of wands, five of coins, five of wands here. So, but the energy between the two of you right now is a sense of just not really connecting, you know, striving to connect, wanting to connect, being so busy that you both feel as though you don't have time for one another. Your person is looking at the obstacles with the five of wands, the competing priorities that both of you have. I would say the love relationship itself is very, very strong based on the cards, but I would say that the outside influences or difficulties are really challenging both of you. Your person is very optimistic. They feel as though you can work through this period of time. They feel very much that the Six of Swords is, you have to just get through the rough time, the rough patch, the rough water, so to speak. Your person definitely wants to move forward with you. They're willing to do the work. They're willing to solve the problems. They see you as a person who is not highly grounded at this time. They see that you're overwhelmed with work and they feel as though you need to work less or or you need to come up with some sort of solution in your life that's going to relieve the, the tension, the stress. But your person feels as though you love them. They look at you as a person who's very sweet, who's very innocent. Um, but again, your feet are not on the, on the ground. They feel that you're a bit of a dreamer. Um, they feel as though you're letting go of that energy and closing it out as you move forward in your life. It looks like they really feel as though your career is going gangbusters, that that is taking priority over your time and that you don't have a lot of time to give. So the five of wands is your person wants to throw caution to the winds in their heart space. Oh, well, look at this. Your person is a Leo king coming in here. You may be dealing with a Leo cusper, Leo sun, moon, rising, or Venus. But it really speaks to the fact that your person has fire in their belly. They don't like feeling left in the cold. They want to connect with you and they're going to take some sort of action to do that. When we get the Queen of Wands, we have Aries energy. They view the situation as both of you are probably great business people, entrepreneurs, super busy, super passionate. That Aries Queen is great energy for people who are very successful. They see the both of you and the way that you move forward is with your passion, passionate commitment to the situation, the relationship. And you know what you whatever you goals you have, you're both very much on the same page. 
So in terms of life purpose, you're very similar to each other, but it is causing difficulty in terms of having time for one another. The two of coins speaks to the fact that both of you are juggling juggling time though is what it looks like to me juggling uh, you might juggle two jobs two projects both of you look like you have a very strong entre entrepreneurial bent and that you're always juggling time let's see what we have here the three of cups says that you are best friends that you are lovers this is your hidden mutual energy nobody else sees this except the two of you and it's all about celebration and reunion and the king of swords both of you are going to have to make plans the king of swords is when we use our intellect to solve a problem it's being cut sort of very calm detached both of you and it's aquarius energy so it rules the house of friendship so both of you have a certain comfort level with not having time for one another but it also shows that both of you are feeling this angst not angst exactly but like okay well we're just hanging out here we don't have time for each other right now so what's going to happen here what will happen with this oh good two of cups so the two of cups to the three of cups the two of cups is a marriage energy it's a bride and groom it's also the energy of a relationship that is deepening that's very significant it can be two best friends it can be lovers it can be any kind of in-depth relationship in which you love to chat you love to spend time together your time together is precious it slips by the hours can slip by just like that for you but your person and you absolutely adore each other. Um, you, you know, the energy that other people don't see is just how much joy you bring to one another's life. Spirit is recommending you make a commitment in this relationship. That is the Ten of Coins. The Ace of Wands. Spirit is saying be enthusiastic. Build a legacy together. Build a home together. Have children together if that's what you want. It can be children of your body, of your mind, of your business. It can be anything that you want to create. But basically, Spirit is saying, use Virgo energy to solve any problems that get in the way. You're very loyal to each other. You're profoundly loyal. You're prof profoundly committed. And the passion is off the charts. The Three of Wands, you're one another ship that has arrived in the harbor. Spirit is recommending that you move forward in terms of committing to one another. The Fool card is a new beginning in love, Eight of Coins. Again, both of you are learning to juggle your calendars. Both of you are learning that, yes, you have to learn to work or you're constantly in this flow of energy of being very powerful creators, but it's also saying that you need to learn more and become better with being dedicated and committed to the relationship. On this, on this final tier of cards, we have three commitment cards, two of cups, major arcana, bride and groom taking their vows in the rider weight. Here it's less formalized. It's all about the connection between two people. Ten of coins, man and wife, very traditional tarot card for a legacy marriage. Once again, a marriage of commitment. Your ships have already arrived in the harbor. It's already here. So spirit and spirit is now saying that you need to take the leap of faith into a more traditional environment in the relationship. That is the actual outcome that you have is that both of you are very likely to make a huge commitment to each other. Hierophant is oftentimes, you know, can be it can be learning at a high level or sharing uh, philosophical beliefs. It can be like working for a large company or a large institution, but it's very institutional. It can be, you know, going to college. It can be philosophical ideas. It can be religious beliefs. But the traditional meaning is also, once again, a traditional relationship in terms of commitment. And there's nothing more traditional than the, the Capricorn Queen in terms of committed relationships. So we're going to look and see what your, um, what your best course of action is in this relationship. Let's see what's going to help your relationship grow. Let's see best course of action for our beautiful Gemini friends. This is a very swift, this was a very easy reading to deliver. It's very much about how the two of you have to fight for time. 
Not fight for love. That's that's in the relationship already. It's quite profound, but you you're really missing each other right now. The two of you are feeling very much like you need time together. So we see elephant spirit learn from the past, okay? So it looks like you've had this problem in the past and it says that you figured out how to solve it. So whatever that takes, you should repeat that. Wash, rinse, repeat. We have embraced the in-between. You know, to a, I, you, you, the two of you are very good at being together even though there's tremendous obstacles in terms of time. The scarab beetle spirit magic works through you. Have confidence that intuitively, sometimes you're just going to say, hey, are you free right now? And I really see that that's gonna be where the magic comes in is the intense flexibility of being very spontaneous with each other when you get an hour here or there. Let's see what the energy is in terms of your helps and your hindrances in this relationship. What do we have for you? The helps and hindrances for our beautiful Gemini friends. Gemini, the two of you really adore time together. I've never seen there's, you know, it's really intense in this reading how much you enjoy one another in your company. So helps and hindrances in this relationship. Let's take a look. This is the Heart of the Fairy Oracle, and we have the dreaming. Keep your vision of what you want in this relationship as a very important part of your life. The boy, oh, look at that. It says be playful. Boys are playful, they're mischievous. They're all about the adventure. So it does speak to the fact that when you're together, you're very playful, but it's also the strength of the relationship. So I feel that these two cards are very much helping your relationship. And so is the third, the queen of hearth and home. The two of you need a home together of some sort, whether it's you know the home that one of you lives in, but it really speaks to a sacred space for the two of you. Let's look and see what the sacred destiny cards are giving us for information about this relationship. Okay, let's see for helps and hindrances. What does sacred destiny have for you? Let's see what we have here. We have wandering path. Enjoy the journey. Lovely. I like it. Enjoying the journey of your relationship. View from above. Get the big picture. Okay, so the big picture that Spirit is telling us is that the two of you are moving very quickly, very rapidly towards commitment. It's, it's almost like you need to be under the same roof to have time to see each other. You are cherished by the angels, protected. Your relationship is protected by the angels. So great energy for the reading, really talking uh, very much to the fact that Spirit is supporting this reading for you, Gemini. So we're going to look and see what the nine best uh, attributes that I can't talk attributes. <gasps> so anyway, uh, we're going to look at the things your person likes best about you, Gemini. So let's look at that energy and see what we have. Okay. I always like feedback. Please leave, leave comments below. Tell me where you're from and tell me if you like the format, if this is helpful to you. All right. So we have, what do they like best about you? Seven of inspiration. You are a tough cookie. They like the fact that you can defend your turf. Your person feels as though people can challenge you all day long and you stand in your power. Nine of materials, pre-empress energy. You are single, ready to mingle. You look good, you smell good, you make money, you have a beautiful home. And we have the hermit card. They love the fact that you search for answers, that you're not afraid to be alone. Your person adores the fact that you that you are very solid on your own. They don't have to be concerned about taking care of you. They like how independent you are, Gemini. So let's see what we have. That's Virgo energy also. So 
They also, oh, here you are, Gemini. That is your card. You are the magician. It is an energy that you share with Virgo. You have all the tools to make magic, to create whatever you want. They see you as a fierce creator. The chariot card. Honey, I'm home. You are powerful. You are a driving force in your own life and the lives of the people that you love. You're always there to help when someone really needs you. The aid of inspiration. You are passionate. You move quickly. They love the fact that you can run in high heels if you have to. Male, female, whatever. The energy is, is that you move really fast. Um, I think of that Beatles song, you know, it moves too fast, make the morning last. Okay, the Empress energy. <gasps> Pre-Empress, Empress. They see you as a powerful creative force in life with the Magician card. They see you almost as invincible but they see you as a beautiful loving nurturing creature of venus venus to milo you are beautiful internally you are beautiful externally they see you as a person who can give birth to new ideas to children to love to enormous compassion and beauty you have great taste in your home you have you're very powerful in terms of your creative ability the aid of emotions they love the fact that in your life when you have been challenged by circumstances that are not uh, favorable for you, that you have the courage and you've had the courage to walk away. They have hold you in high regard. The four of emotions, <laughs> they like the fact that you don't often get bored. And when you do get bored, the worst that's going to happen is you're going to watch a movie and still find how to be content in your life. So your person really likes the fact that even when the chips are down, you really just are the queen of pentacles. You know, even when you get bored, you always find something creative, something nurturing, something powerful to do with your time and energy. Cindy, you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me what you think of the reading and please sell, say hello from wherever you are sitting right now watching this reading. Take care. Bye-bye. Hope to see you again soon.